Greetings and welcome back everyone to Fuzzy Ferret Farm and of course to Stardew Valley where we now have a chicken statue in our house. Right, it is Sunday the 21st, the Queen of Sauce. Let's have a check of this. A radish salad, there's nothing like fresh peppery radish. It reminds me of the late spring. My mother would slice up our fresh radishes and serve them greeny bread with a little salt and pepper. Ah, those were the days. I already know how to make this, even though that wasn't classed as a rerun, because the thing about reruns is apparently it's a bug. If you watch the rerun shows, apparently there's a chance that you'll see a recipe that wasn't due to be out yet, but next year this would have been a rerun of, etc, etc. Um, so it isn't actually as quirky as I, I thought, with the whole rerun thing being um, just hidden recipes. Alright, let's see what our uh, fortune is. It's a neutral, very well, and weather report, gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Wonderful. Okay, well, let's head on out. Have we got anything to harvest? We do, in fact, have lots of things to harvest. Oh, happy, happy days. However, very first thing, hello, Lee Finn. Also, here's some water. Now, this episode of Stardew Valley may be coming out just a tad late today, unfortunately, because uh, I was out house hunting. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's exhausting, in many different ways. Oh, like, I found this recipe in a magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Hee hee hee. Strange button. Do not give Shane a strange button. Shane is lying about that when he says feel free to give me a taste. Or he just has far higher expectations of, of your cooking than he really should. Either way, you show up. Yeah, and he's, he's not best pleased. Not best pleased at all. And regrets his decision immensely. Uh, right, well, we've got a number of items here that we can drop off, yes. And then we will grab you. Is that a gold? Wow, that's a gold. Um, requires scythe. Okay. Also, these do not. We now have some strawberries. Uh, we will also grab... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, we've got a gold star strawberry, which is fantastic. Um... Drop the. You know what? I'll just drop everything off for now. There we are. Can I drop this one? Oh, we've already got one. That's fine then. I'll drop that one off in here. I do need a, a dedicated um, chest for this sort of stuff, I guess. There we are. And finally, I need me a scythe. For I wish to scythe my kale. There we go. We even got a gold star kale. I don't think I ever had a gold star kale in the uh, first playthrough. I think that is literally the first time I've ever had one. I got three of them at the same time. Wow. Okay, well, that one could go in there. We've got a lot that we can make money off today. A lot that we can make money off today. You know what, though? Um, strawberries, they're way too precious, but I will be using those as gifts, I think. Uh, these. Uh, let's see. What can I do? I think for the time being, I'm just going to dump everything in there because I'm, I'm just running out of space. Uh, now... Obviously, I'm going to get the uh, crops uh, watered. However, I'm not going to do the whole field today because there's a significantly lower number of crops that I need to water. We do need to go and get myself a bit of stuff, um, namely from the merchant. I'm going to try and see if the merchant possibly has something wonderful for me. And if they do, I will try and buy it. Also, I can see out the corner of my eye, without even needing to look, that Siri is, is active and is pacing around her cage, wondering when I'm going to take note. And if I make eye contact, that's it. That's practically uh, a written contract that I will take her out and I will play with her for ages. So, I'm trying to see if she will eventually decide that I'm far too engrossed in my game and go back to sleep for a little bit. The odds are very slim. I'll be honest with you, odds are super slim. Go. Now we are not going to get the, the maximum out of the money that we invested in these. That's just not going to happen because um, I decided to plant them now. If we wanted that, would have had to have waited for a lot longer. However, we're going to take these along. I'm going to keep the low quality in there. Um, they're going to be kept for gifts, I think. The daffodil is wonderful. Kept as gift as well. Uh, we'll take... All of these, they're coming. We're going to be selling them. The parsnip, yes, I'm going to be keeping that as a gift. Well, actually, no. We'll have more chance to get parsnips of, of that quality. That should not be a particular issue. 
uh, we are going to take a bunch of these too. Okay, now the first stop, we're going to head over to Pierre's, and we're just going to sell all of this stuff to Pierre. What are the odds that I'm going to get a gold one here? No, no, no. What are the odds? Gold. It is gold. <laughs> I know it's gold because if it was silver or regular, I would have been able to pick it up. And I know that one's gold. Wow, okay, my foraging skill is actually working out well for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost at level 5 foraging. We're not even out of spring yet. I'm almost at 5 farming, 5 foraging, or 5 fishing already. Not even made progress on mining or combat, though. But, you know, Shane is at 4, four hearts. Wow. You know... I think I think we may have a winner for the, <laughs> the flower festival dance. And from what I understand, you have to have four hearts with someone to be able to dance. And um, yeah, I don't think we're going to get anyone else up there because really we would need a birthday to be able to make that much progress. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Emily's birthday's after the dance. Ah, that sucks a little bit. But, on the plus side, yay, not dancing on my own? Because I want to dance this time in the first year, damn it! Uh, yes. Ah. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to dance this time. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. They do. They do make sweaters like they used to. Right. Okay, I'm going to sell these. Go ahead, take them all. All, 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 all. Now, thing is, I super, super duper want to purchase. Really, is that the one that you decided to put on the market? Ah, uh, actually, wasn't that like a decent quality? Yes, that was a decent quality, so that's not too bad. But I do, I do really quite want to get myself a. I could get parsnips, because I'd be able to get, like, a whole harvest of parsnips, though. I do want to check the merchant first, though. And I'd be able to get a whole harvest of parsnips done, regardless. Are people turning up to, uh, the, the Shrine of Yoba? I think they are, actually. Hi, Abigail. Oh, man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling all, another all-nighter. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that, to be honest. I, I mean, I know it's super tempting. I did it all the time. But I'm not... Ignorant of the fact that that could have gone really badly for me, really quickly. I, I I was definitely not doing the sensible thing most of the time with my studies. And taking the day off. Well done. If I don't spend any time outside, I'll go crazy. And so you're spending your day off inside. Mm. Can I go and hang out with everyone in here? Because I never did that before. As much as I need to go to the merchant first. I've never been religious, but hey, I'm old. Ah, oh, they're all gonna say something interesting, aren't they? Ah! I do want to kind of hang out with you guys and, and see this because I've never seen it before. But at the same time, I super duper want to be able to go and. Uh, oh, it looks like Siri is being a bit loud. I super duper want to go and check out the merchant. Plus, I don't want. Uh, blah, 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 something about your legs. No, no. Uh, no, now you're sat down. Can I talk with you? No. Okay. Well, uh, ooh, George's got a little bit more to say, apparently. No, just the same thing. Okay, well, everyone is dragging their feet. No one is showing up. I'm sorry, but that's just tardy. I am going to go and talk with the merchant. After I've said something to Pierre. I've heard the flowers are in bloom, and the air smells great. You wouldn't know because you never leave the bloody store. I don't know what I'm going to get you for your birthday, Pierre. Hey, Mayor Lewis, not going to uh, the Shrine of Yoga? I've been Mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. No one stands against me. Out of fear. You've seen the crazy look I get in my eyes. Maybe one day I will. Just to, just to give you competition. I, I, I won't win. But I'll stand against you anyway. Just just so it doesn't it isn't quite as obvious. You might even pay me off. I'd accept it. I'd accept your fancy tea set as payment. Look, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I would totally be a corrupt mayor for a fancy tea set. There are certain things I just, I'm not going to turn down. 
Oh no, I messed up again. I'm sorry, Jess. Hello. Ooh, winter root. Um, obviously, I could get that, but it's just a it's just a regular thing, really. That one, a cherry sapling for stupid amounts of money. Uh, Mussel. Do I have a muscle already? I can easily check that. Tiger trout. Don't have that. Puffer fish. Don't have that. House plant rare seed. No coffee. New no coffee. Fiddlehead fern, though. I know that's going to be required later on, I believe. Let me uh, just check. Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. Now, artisan bundle. Does that, It needs a peach. Now, the Hmm. I think the fall crops is the fiddlehead fern in there. No, exotic forage is the pantry. Cra exotic forage. No, construction fall forage. I'm not sure where that would be. Then I think it's probably going to be one of the ones to the side. Um, however, the puffer fish is a speciality fish, so I think we'll go ahead and we'll pick that up for a thousand. Does mean we're going to miss out on being able to purchase the backpack, though. And is it really that difficult for me to get? It isn't, to be honest. Oh, these horrible decisions. I could just buy the peach now, though. But I'm pretty, pretty certain that I'm going to be going for the bat anyway. But I will purchase the peach. I'll purchase the winter root as well. Just to get it out of the way. And I'll grab the puffer fish. There we go. That leaves me with 600. But I've done a, a fair bit of work towards the later season's items. The, the winter route, honestly, not necessary. Really, really not necessary to purchase. Simply because I am going to get those in winter. I There's no question about it. I will absolutely... 100% be able to get those with relative ease. However, I've gotten it super duper early and, you know, that'll help out. Sometimes the spring petals that float around make my nose drip. Yep. Yep. Yes, they do. Uh, not specifically yours, I mean mine. I, that is, we share the same affliction. Uh, hello. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. It does, actually. In fact... Place I was looking at. It's not really the the ocean per se. It's it's the mouth of a river leading into the ocean. So, hello, Caroline. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Wonderful. Were you two the only ones that went to the Shrine of Yoga today? Interesting. All right. Uh, yes, we're pretty much just going to take all of the parsnip seeds that I can get, and I should be buying them at five at a time, really. There we go, 30, and I will plant them everywhere I can. There we go. We'll have enough time for one harvest. We will not get enough time for two, unfortunately, at this point. But that's fine, I think, overall. All right, I'm here to drop off some more items, slowly making our way through the various bundles. Uh, winter root and peach. So let's head on over. We can drop off the peach and then the winter root down in the craft room. We're not making specific um, progress through anything right now. Uh, da -dum -da -dum -dum -dum. See, the nice thing with the fruits is technically I only need a couple of them. Because ultimately, if we look here... You can have all four fruits, but you only, uh, sorry, uh, all six fruits, but you only need six items in total. You don't need all of these. You could get through it easily enough by going through this. Oh, sounds like Siri really does want my attention now. So I will be back in a few moments when I have let her out, had a bit of a, a bit of a play, given her a cuddle, maybe even given her a treat. And uh, then I will put it back in the cage so you can go to sleep feeling suitably, suitably spoiled. Uh, be right back. And we're back. Right, sorry about that. Of course, once I took Siri out and was snuggling her and she was grooming me and making happy noises, that woke her sisters up and they wanted to come out as well. Ah... Uh, Right. This is this is why sometimes I don't get all the videos recorded in a day. All right, Harvey. 
Let's have a chat, shall we? I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience because you just refuse to fall asleep in front of your farm. I guess I should try to get patience from the neighboring towns. Maybe my ninjas will be able to club them over the head instead. Harvey, you frighten me, frankly. Right, you want gold star dandelions. We also want gold star daffodils. Really? It's a regular daffodil? Oh. How, how disheartening. Well, that one can go in there then. Uh, in fact, this one can go over here as well. Okay. Right then, we have many, 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 many of these to plant. We are going to get a good number of uh, strawberries out of that. Well, you know, we can get two harvests effectively. Which is going to be reasonable amount of return on the investment, I feel. Though, obviously, there are lo loads of people who feel that if you've got them, you really should get the very most out of them. And that usually means planting them at the very early spring next year. But my plan is not to sell them. It's not to do anything like that. It is to use the strawberries this year as seeds. I will be putting them into the seed maker once I've unlocked that, which will mean that next year I'll have a much larger supply of strawberry seeds to begin my strawberry farming. Also, if I should get the um, greenhouse setup, then I'm, I might do strawberries for a little while. I'm thinking instead of trying to grow a, a little bit of everything every single day or, or just having a little patch of everything, what I would like to do is instead have like cycles. I'll do a strawberry batch for a while and I'll just grow strawberries. Later on, I'll move on to other things. There we are. I'll always keep like a small amount of strawberries growing, for example. Maybe even just one plant, because it constantly um, constantly regrows. And that would give me a constant flow of seeds for whenever I would want to do it next. Likewise with the rare seeds, and if I should get ancient seeds. Ultimately, if I can build up to ancient seeds, then that would be grand. Alright, well, everyone can be gifted at the moment, so I should probably take out some items and start gifting them, I, I guess. Um, yeah, pretty much everyone is available, so I'll grab my beautiful daffodil. I will grab the strawberries are not going as gifts. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not happening. I know. Um, but just no. B bat wings? No, I'm not going to give anyone bat wing gifts. I actually don't have that much in terms of gifts. Hmm. I think a trip down the mines is in order. I do, however, have salmon berries, which I can give to Shane and Pam. It's 6.30. We'll head on down, then we'll walk up through the town, I think. It'll probably be the, uh, an interesting way of doing it. At some point, I want to tile a path through there. For those who've been wondering, am I going to be decorating my town? Uh, sorry, my farm, my town. Um, I will be, but I'll probably be, be waiting for the spring, uh, sorry, for the summer for that, simply because I will have a little bit more money by then, and I can use the first couple of days to just get everything set up properly. But yeah, I like summer best myself. Very well. We're, we're all allowed our preferences. Hi, Haley. Hmm, Haley. Here we go. For me? Thank you! Oh, my sister's so weird sometimes. I wonder if we're actually related. How can you be so sweet and then so salty? It's, it's, it's like you're two people living in the same body. You know what? I could just... No, I can't buy... I was going to say, I could just buy people beers. No, no, I can't. Alas. <sighs> I wasn't very productive today. Oh, Here you go. Oh, I guess I'll take it. Ah, oh, you didn't like it. Oh, well. Would you like this, Pam? You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. She seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Well, fair enough. I guess. Hi there, Avak. Glad to see you. You're always welcome here. 
Hey, yeah. Hey, Abak. Would you like this? Thanks. Wonderful. Hey, Clint. How are you doing? I'm afraid I don't have anything to give to you at the moment. Don't you have work to do? You walked in on me giving Emily a gift. Oh, that Clint. So salty. So salty. I can sort of understand it, though. I mean, it's not like you haven't been abundantly clear that that you really like Emily. Except, you, you've made it abundantly clear that you like em Emily. To pretty much everyone but Emily. Which I feel was was a mistake, Clint. I feel that, that you may not have understood this whole romance thing. Uh, hello. Ha-ha! New books! Want another lost book? I'm a patron of that, that museum. Patron of the arts. It's wonderful. Uh, we've got the sea urchin. Fantastic. That'll be a decent bit of cash right there. And we've not really got anything else. But, you know what we have got? We've got our fishing rod. And we've got a lonely pier upon which to fish. We're starting to get uh, pretty good casts at this point. It's also night, so we'll... Ha oh, damn it. We're not going to get a perfect now. Well, we're not going to get a perfect twice, in fact. Thrice! But we are going to be getting night fish. Another max! Yay! Yeah. Would I be able to cast that far out? I'll try. <laughs> yes! I didn't notice it for the longest time. I'm quite unobservant sometimes, it seems. Now, oh, scallywags. Got a halibut. There we go. We may be able to get ourselves quite a few fish if this uh, fishing spot lasts. And I will spend most of the night fishing, if that's the case, because that's a good bit of money. Thank you. Also, always like to get, oh, get my fishing skill up. You're a slow starter. Tricksy little fella you are. Very well. You are a herring. Of course you're a tricksy little fella. Ah, it's in your nature. Gold star, though. Hmm. I need to start thinking of um, how I'm going to lay out my farm. I kind of got a bit of an idea. I do want to do it uh, differently from last time. And I've got a bit of an idea of how I would like to set up the buildings this time. I'm, I've been wrestling with the idea of fences at all. Now that I know that there is a building, but it's very late game sort of building that you'd be able to get that would allow you to completely negate the decay of your walls. They become much more viable, but they are still ultimately not necessary. However... On my particular farm, one of the things I'm worried about, would my animals ever be at risk from the from the monsters? Now, the monsters come out at the night, and the animals retire to their barns and their coops at night. But, would there ever be a crossover point? If there is, then I think walls are necessary. But then, that being said... The uh, wilderness golem seems to just, you know, pop out of the ground, doesn't really care. So maybe it wouldn't make a difference either way, and I should just go with no, no, um, ooh, this is the last one. I should just go with no fences. On the plus side, if I pass out now, I'm not losing anything. Okay, there we go. Last, last thing to fish. No, no, no. Cunning little scoundrel you, just sitting on the bottom, knowing that my barber will bounce. Very, very cunning. I approve, frankly. All right, there we go. We're off. Four silver. We did not get a single regular fish, eh? We got a regular forage, the sea urchin, and I'm, I just frankly don't know if driftwood can ever not be um, basic, but... Now, it is considered a trash item, but I, I believe that Leah likes them. I believe that Leah likes them because Shen told me that Leah likes them. I do not recall if I ever gave her driftwood in the last season. Good night, Emily. 
If I had something lovely to give you, I would totally give it to you, but uh, unfortunately, it's uncommon to fish gems. Not impossible, mind you, given the treasure chest, but uncommon. Uncommon enough that there's no point. Right. Uh, hello, slime. No, not today. Also, not today. Pop that in there. I need to get around you really fast. Do not have time to mess around. All of this goes in there. I'm not worried about the uh, urchin. Right, right, gotta get in bed. No star leaf in. <sighs> yes! Level 4 farming. We can now make the preserve jar. We can now properly start on the artisan path. We can also make iron fences and basic retaining soil, which, you know, helps you out with, um, with watering. I didn't really use it. I didn't really use anything but fertilizer in the last one. I really should have used the, the speed grow a little bit more, I think. But the retaining soil... Not really that important. Because I don't feel that it really affects you that much to be doing anything else. To to, to ha be having to worry about your um, watering. We made a lot of money there, my lord. The kale? Ye gads. Thank you so much for that tip on the kale. That is super good. We made a decent bit on the, uh, the urchin there. Made a, a fair old whack from the the fishing too and 20 off the other okay 2049 not bad not bad at all cock-a-doodle do indeed there we go let's check on the living off the land get your hands on a fishing pole and sell your catch fishing is a great way to make a little extra cash when you have some downtime the distance your bobber lands from the dry land determines what kind of fish you'll hook as well as the location season time of day and weather indeed they do you'd think given how much fishing i've done that i would actually know all of this sort of stuff that it would be burned into my memory but no i just fish because it's something easy i can do and i can just chill out and really don't have to think about it very much it, it, i basically consign it to the autopilot part of my brain to deal with so i do not actually retain any of the information that i should have mildly perturbed today okay sounds like a good day to go down the mines uh my planning is bad Avak, I found this recipe in a magazine, and I thought it sounded, well, interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it now. This one, absolutely. I think Shane really likes pepper poppers, and pepper poppers are a great, fantastic um, item to have. Yay! We've done it. We have gotten our gold star parsnip. Wonderful. Okay, well, first and foremost, uh, the water. Now, this time, I am going to be cutting this out. So, uh, well, actually, first... There you go. No! Why am I trying to fish in your dogs, but when there isn't even any water in there? Ah, oh, I don't know. But I will bring you back in a moment. And there we go. Fantastic. Right, I'm prob... Well, I could get enough parsnips to do the rest of this, actually. Hmm. And I'd have enough time as well. It would be the 26th by the time that those parsnips were ready um with that in mind yeah sure actually i think that might be a good idea uh let's see have i got anything i really want to mess around with in here no not particularly i can't say oh actually yes i do i want to make some field snacks there we go then we'll pop these back in there now let's have a quick quick gander now the time has paused which is good crab pots need iron bars that's something I really want to get. I could make two tree taps. I can't make a charcoal kiln for now. I can make preserve jars. That is quite possibly worth it at this point for me. To start work on that immediately. So, let's have a quick gander. We've got enough coal. We've got enough stone. We've got enough wood. Excellent news. One, two... There we are, and we'll drop this off. We are now out of, uh, was it four coal for those? No, eight coal, so we do need a little bit of both. Very well. However, um, for the time being, given that I don't know how I want to set the farm up just yet, I'll place these preserve jars in here. Uh, I won't put them near the fire. That seems a little dumb. Uh, we'll pop them in there. Now, what, what kind of crops do we want to put in there? Ideally, some fruit. I could put some salmon berries in there. 
Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, that's the, pretty much the only crop that I've got available right now. I'll put in, I'll put in some salmon berries. And we'll get something out. I don't think Sam... Well, actually, Sam Berry doesn't sell very well at all. No. No, let's let's not. We'll have a look around and I'll I'll make a decision. Because it takes a, a couple of days for them to go through. I could put the strawberries in there, but it, no. Not, not on that one. Um, that, that just seems dumb to me. I'm going to grab my pickaxe. And we're going to go to the mine, I think, today. I think that would make a lot of sense for us. Uh, I've got some snacks. If I see anything, then I may use that. But, um, yeah, it's unfortunate that I've only just had a large harvest, really. Hmm. A bit, a bit of a shame. Ooh, we've got a quest. Right, tomorrow's episode is going to be the flower dance at the end of it. Oops. Oh, damn it. Help! I'm looking for someone to bring me 20 copper ores to aid in the understanding of local minerals. 220 gold on delivery, and you keep the ores after I inspect them. That... There's, there's a no-lose situation there. No-lose. Hello. Getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. I'm really glad you think so. Hopefully, you especially think it when I start selling my things to him. I love animals, Mr. Avak. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Like, as I said before, it, it's pretty much predestined that we're going to become the best of friends, given that as the criteria. My daughter really hates clay. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Nothing really to say about that. Um, I could buy a parsnip back in order to stick it in, uh, in the preserve jar, but they're new. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. How long did that take? Six days. I mean, I'd be able to get... I would actually be able to get one harvest from it. That takes six days. That takes four. I've got a lot of money and I can can turn it into a decent amount. Um, let's think. Yeah, okay. We'll invest 20 kale. Thank you, Pierre. I will not, however, plant it straight away. We'll plant it later in the night. But that does mean I need to leave the mine early. Because I won't have very long to mess around with this. I can't, for example, afford to only plant some of it and then plant it all tomorrow. No. We absolutely need to get that planted tonight and watered tonight hello Bump. clay just what i wanted abigail's favorite gift uh i will speak with linus but i don't have a gift for you today i'm sorry linus chris bay of the wilderness is all i care to know you know what linus hold your horses right there Ah, oh, imagine that you were this good at fishing that any body of water could yield fish. And you're just wandering around and one of your friends is like, yeah, I'm just chilling out. And you're just like, hang on, I will catch you supper. Right, uh, okay. Let's, let's start that narrative again. You were that good at fishing that any body of water you could get fish from. And your friend's just hanging out like, eh. And you're like, hang on, I will catch you supper. Granted, it is going to be a raw fish. 3rd time's a charm. Let's let's hope. This is my punishment for being for being overly proud. Yep, yep. I'm being punished. I am being punished. Fair enough, game. You're teaching me a valuable life lesson here. Pride is bad. Let's drop off the things that I don't need. Remember that I need to pick these up later on, especially you. And head down to the mines. Ooh, of course I could fish there. I'm not going to though today. Ha! Copper! Fantastic. Now, I need to remember that I've got to take some back to Clint, and that is good. There we go. Hello. Also, hello to all of you. I will almost certainly throw the uh, fiber away, though. We'll just go straight down. Ooh, earth crystal. Okay. I really love the music in the mines. No. No. 
I can tell that you're just building up. Ha 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 ha! Fantastic. Uh, right, I've got a little bit more copper over here. I wonder if your mining skill ever increases the amount of mineable ores that show up on a level. It's not something I've ever really ex experimented with. I, I never really paid enough attention, but later on it did seem that I was getting more from a mining visit as my mining level went up. I mean, certainly I was getting... Oh, dear me. That is not good times. I was definitely getting more from each mining visit in terms of geodes. But then I had the abilities for that. No. 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 No, 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 no. Stop it. Ha-ha! And you. Oh, dear. No. Go away. Stop being cruel. I will destroy you all. They just don't take my advice seriously. I feel. And it's their own dumb fault. Really, again? Are you really being this horrible to me, game? Spirits did say they were being turned. I guess. It's my own fault for now listening. Nope. Be gone. Foul demons. On the plus side, look at all the bait that I'm getting out of this. We're up over a hundred bait. That is going to see me well into the late game. However, I really would like to get down to a deep level. Are we going to have any... No, nothing is jumping at me. This is rather awesome. Right, time for a field snack. We're probably going to be able to complete Clint's quest. Wow. I really wasn't expecting that, honestly. Really wasn't expecting that. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. My lord. Come on then, bug. Need more bug meat. Uh, we will gobble you down. A little bit of healing. And then I shall make some bait. There we are. Uh, anything around here? We've got some quartz. And do I have anything I can drop for your guts? Uh, no, mind, you didn't give me any guts. Fair enough. Unfortunately, now I need to uh, find... Oh, I got a little bit of copper ore. I need to find the way down at this point. If I haven't already. No, I have not. Okay, this may be where we have to leave a little bit earlier. But, with that early in the day, I don't think we will. I think we should be okay. My energy's getting a bit low, though. No! That is very rude. Just jumping out at me like that. It's called spawn camping. Yeah, we're gonna eat the field snack. Hopefully, we'll have enough to find the way down. That is our primary goal now on this level, is just to get out of here so that we can make progress to the next uh, level. If I can get down... A whole level every time I come to the mines. And I feel that that is pretty good going for me. No, nope, you also didn't drop anything. No. <sighs> Where are my spider friends when I need them? Um, let's see. So this is what happens, Abigail, when you don't, when you don't take care of spiders and, and treat them with respect. They don't inhabit the mines and kill all the flies. It's a slippery slope you're on. Uh, you can go down there for a second, whilst, uh, what did I just drop? Oh, wait, no, I've, uh, eaten my field snack, of course. Grab you, ah, oh, yes, grab you as well, I thought it was about to say, that, no, that was not, uh, the same quality. We're getting a really good run today. Unfortunately, what we're not getting is coal. And without coal, we're not easily going to be able to uh, smelt all of this. Block. Ooh. Fantastic. Aha! Coal! And hardwood, too. Damn it, there's things that I want here. Lots of things that I want. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to go. You can be turned into bait. And, uh, yeah, you're going to have to go as well, because the hardwood is significantly more, more rare. Okay, we did a very good run. 29 copper. That is amazing. All right, take me back. I've got to pick up, at the very least, I have to pick up my kale seeds. Uh, the green algae I'll just eat here. That will not be an issue. And that one as well. 
just to restore my energy. Is there anything I want to take with me? Sure, I can bring that. No, actually, we'll bring that instead. Oh, and this, because it stacks. Of course, I didn't really think about that. Okay, well, that's good enough. That was really, really good. I feel that we did a fantastic job. It's still super early as well, so... I could possibly go speak with Clint and turn in my quest. If I can get the kale planted fast enough, I will. I'll head back, I'll talk with Clint in the saloon. Hopefully, that will complete the quest, and then I can just start smelting this stuff, because it'll be grand. I could even use, <clears throat> with this much copper ore, excuse me, <clears throat> bit of a frog in my throat there, I could use that much copper ore to make another furnace, which it certainly has its merits, to be fair. Uh, we're going to need to get a couple of things planted for all of this kale. Right. First, let's drop things off, shall we? Uh, all of this in there for now. I need fertilizer. I need to make more of it. So let's just turn a good, healthy portion of that into fertilizer. And drop that back off. There we go. This is where I've forgotten something absolutely essential in the mines. I did notice, but chat noticed, rather, comments noticed. I always say chat. I don't even stream that often, but I, I always seem to refer to comments in the here and now. As if you're there watching me right now, and I guess it's just the way I've, I've come to think of it when I when I let's play. Uh, let's get all of this done. Certainly less lonely when you think of it like that. There we are. Just the perfect amount of kale as well. Then, oh dear, oh dear. I'm not liking that at all. Uh, I need a fish. I need a fish so bad. Do I have a fish? No, I have no fish. I have a salmon berry, though. Salmon berry, well played. You were the berry that we needed right now. There we go. And there we are. Perfect. Everything is done. Drop this off, drop that off, drop off my fertilizer as well, grab my copper. I am probably going to make a new furnace. Because it's going to accelerate us doing pretty much everything. And then tomorrow I'm going to decide on what I have that I can use. Actually, uh, no, it's too late. Emily will be leaving. Uh, no, it's never too late to try. Damn it. I need to stop second guessing myself. Decide on something. Have a plan. Whatever the plan is. Doesn't matter what the plan is. Have a plan. Because if you don't have a plan, then you're going to be part of someone else's plan. Or that's what the thing was on Reddit a couple of days ago. I'm not going to claim any any uh, ownership of that one. That was that was just a... a sorry, Imja. Imja post. Right. But unfortunately, my plan is often to change my mind. Not a very good plan. I need, I need a more concrete one. There we go. Am I going to find Clint? Yes! Ah, oh, Clint, you're wonderful. You brought the ores I requested. Excellent! These ores look to be of good quality. You can keep them, of course. I just wanted to see how the local geology is doing. And here's your payment, as promised. Clint, you're a man of your word, and I respect you for that. Ah, wonderful. I could buy Pam and Shane a pint of beer at this point if I wanted to. But what I really want to do is give Emily a gift. This gift is fabulous, thank you so much! You're welcome. A secret hobby, but I won't say any more. Very well. Well, we are up to two hearts. We need four. Alas. No, no flower dance for us. Hi there, Avak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you. Um, anything in here? A spaghetti for 240. I could pick that up, because I'm fairly certain that that is something that um, Pierre likes. Uh, Pierre, his birthday's a little ways away, so we're not going to worry about it too much. Hey, sorry if I came off as rude when we first met. It takes me a while to warm to strangers. No, that's alright, mate. I understand. 
Hey kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. But I have to spend all my money on me. Because I frankly just I need to be drunk all the time to forget about my horrible, horrible life. <sighs> See, the thing is, is Pam, except for the rare moments when she stops to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you, like, don't end up like me, she actually seems like she's okay with her life. Ow. That was my fault. I forgot about the bat. Come here, then. Nope. 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 There we go. Um... Whereas Penny, who certainly does have a hard life, seems really down on it. It's interesting. I wonder if Pam just... just it, I mean, she's clearly aware of it, but I guess she just doesn't... Doesn't let it get to her. Tries not to, anyway. We need some stone so I can make a... Oh, we do not have enough stone. Hmm. I do not really have enough time, but I'm going to try all the same. Stone, please be enough. I need 25. We should be able to get that fairly easily. Got a, like a bajillion over at the mines, but obviously it's over at the mines, not here. Um, two, three. Yes, there we go. New furnace. And we'll be able to get both of these going as well. Fantastic. Really, really happy with the progress we made in this episode. I'll be honest, I feel that like this is one of the better days so far. By far, actually. By far one of the better days. There we go. And with that, we'll actually have enough copper that I can upgrade one of my tools. Oh, but which one? This is an important decision. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should upgrade to. Do I go for the axe? Or do I go for the pickaxe? Hmm... Hmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. Right, that's it. We're going to sleep. And on the morrow, we will have to decide what we're going to be putting into the uh, preserve jars. Level 2 combat. We can now make a life elixir. That requires a lot of mushrooms. If we don't go with the cave, the odds of being able to make this on any kind of regularity are virtually nil. Also, level 2 mining. Wow, I can now make staircases. And my pickaxe proficiency has gone up. Hooray! But we didn't make any money. That's because we made all of our money throughout the rest of the day. But it's a rain day today, which is great. It means we can pretty much do what we want. We can go fishing. We can go mining. We can just socialize if that's what we want to do. Do remember to let me know in the comments which tool you think I should upgrade first to copper. But that is going to be all for today. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, of course. And as ever, like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time, take care, everyone.